Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys all had a great 4th of July. I really didn't do a whole lot. I went to a bunch of TJ Maxx stores. It's kind of weird. I just feel like it was, it didn't feel like the 4th of July <laughs> to me. But anyways, this is my TJ Maxx and Marshalls shop with me video where I go to some different stores and check out what they have for new makeup. I feel like I found a few things here and there, some very random finds, and if I found something good, it was usually just like one piece of it. So my stores are a little on the slower side. I had to go to a lot um, to actually find this much stuff. So I did a little extra TJ Maxx shopping this week to kind of make a good video for you guys, but we did see some cool things, and I did buy a few things as well, so that will be at the end. If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on these videos that I upload every Sunday, plus I upload a ton more throughout the week. But let's go ahead and get to shopping. I noticed first thing today, they have a bunch of these Cara Beauty palettes in the Enchanted Forest palette, which looks nice. This is the colors. I haven't really tried anything from this brand. You guys will have to let me know if you guys like it because I'm super curious. This is going for $5.99 here. It kind of looks similar to like BH Cosmetics or Makeup Revolution, but they have a bunch of this palette in right now. They also have this really cute Physicians Formula set, the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting. There is a little bronzer here, which is super cute with the hearts on it, and then two of these lipsticks plus a little brush. Super cute little kit. This is going for $6.99. I also spotted another Laura Mercier concealer color in the shade 1.5. So I think I looked it up last time. I need either 0.5 or 1. So we'll see if those come in. I don't know. And then like we found the 2.5 last time. So looks like they're bringing in some more of those. And fingers crossed I'll have my shade. I also have this matte lipstick set again from Anastasia since we've been seeing a ton of the restocks lately. This one comes with four lipsticks, I believe mini sizes, in these like pinky berry tones, really pretty. You get Orchid, Cotton Candy, Stargazer, and Plumeria for $12.99. It's a really good deal for that. And they are restocking these Buxom Vava Plumps since we saw all those new glasses last week. These have been in the stores before. They're kind of a nice, they call them a liquid lipstick, but they're kind of just a really pigmented gloss. These are $5.99. They had Paradise Found, Getting Warmer, and then over here is Russian to You. I do like these. I think they are nice. I noticed they had this from Bare Minerals. They might have stocked a couple things from them. So I don't think we might have seen this. I don't quite remember. But this is a long wear eyeshadow stick from them. This is in the shade Sunset Rose. And it is $5.99. And then I just saw these cute little baby lips from Maybelline. I know these are always popular. So I wanted to show that. They had two of these in here. For $3.99, it looks like a nude and maybe a light pink. These are just super sheer on the lips. But they have quite a few of those. Actually, there's some different colors too. And then they stocked up on these Essie polishes too. I grabbed one of these last week, but now I'm like, ooh, do I want more? They're like a strengthener and a polish. So there's tons of different shades. There's like a mauve, this baby pink, a silver, a more... Um, berry tone, a cream, and then like a light gray almost. So lots of those are in. These are, let's see, $3.99, so super inexpensive. I'm going to mention this as well because I feel like it's pretty important, but they actually stocked in this hand sanitizer, which is kind of cool. They have a bunch of them with 63% alcohol, and it has vitamin E in it, and this is a huge bottle. So if you guys are in need, the TJ Maxx actually has some, which is kind of cool. So this is for $16.99 for 30 fluid ounces. I also saw in the skincare section, they restocked to this, the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Moisturizing Glow Mask. We'll probably see a lot more of their skincare here because they recently just switched to all new skincare, new packaging and everything. So I'm sure it'll end up here. This is going for $12.99. They also have these little hand creams from Laura Mercier. We saw their body creams last year, and this is a little hand cream, and the scent is Amber Vanilla. This is for $5.99, and they have two of those. 
speaking of that, I just looked down and I saw they restocked on these. They only have the amber vanilla scent right now, but they'll probably get more in. I'm still waiting for them to bring the pistachio scent. That one's my favorite, but this amber vanilla is great as well. So this is the body butter and it's $12.99. These are really good. I love this line and the shower gels. I was using one in my shower, the creme brulee. Absolutely love it. So I feel like it's a little pricey, but it's worth it, I think. Here they have another Buxom Single Shadow. We saw one shade last week. Now they have another one in. This is in Hot Couture. Going for $2.99 again. It's kind of like a shimmery dark brown. It looks really pretty. We went around the corner and it looks like they actually have a couple more Buxom Shadows. This one is in Hustle. This one has silver packaging for some reason. But this color looks beautiful, like a gorgeous copper shimmer, $2.99. I should maybe think about getting these to fill my palette because that color is beautiful. They also have, this one is called Invite Only, a medium matte brown. Yeah, I might pick a couple of these up to fill my palette. I think that would be nice. So we're seeing more shades, which is good. I think these are newer shades in the Buxom glosses as well. We saw quite a bit yesterday, but I don't remember seeing this one. This is in the shade Nicole. Again, these are $5.99. And then these are all the ones we saw last time. They also have one called Jessica. I don't think we've seen this one either. They also have another shade in the Plumping Lip Liner. This one's in the shade R Restricted. And it's going for $3.99. Alright, I stopped at one more store. I was not expecting to see the shade. But I found it in 0.5N. So I'm definitely grabbing it. Once again, this is $6.99. I really didn't think that we would see this, so I'm really excited. All right, just stopped in again, and they have so many Maybelline mascaras here, which is kind of crazy. So we have the Mega Plush, I used to love that one. I remember when it first came out, and then also the Falsies Flared. These are $3.99 each. And then they also have the Colossal from them. So these are pretty inexpensive if you guys are wanting a new mascara. Oh, here's another one even. This is the Pumped Up Colossal. So tons of new ones. My personal favorite would be the Mega Plush. This one's really nice. Or the Falsies. We also have these restocked from Too Faced. This is the long, Liquified Longwear Lipstick. These have been out for so long, I feel like. We have Chihuahua and also Fig in these. These are for $5.99 each. So we haven't seen like a ton of new high-end stuff this week, but this is pretty cool. We have this Molten Drama Palette here from Bobbi Brown. We might have seen this at like Nordstrom Rack, but never here before. So this is a full-size Bobbi Brown palette. You can kind of see on the back what this one looks like. I'll insert a photo here too. So you can see, but this one is $34.99, so a bit pricey since Bobbi Brown is very high-end. And you guys know I always include the retail prices as well, but this one looks like it has some almost beautiful shimmery glitter shades in there, if you guys could see that through. It looks nice, and then there's a few mattes, so it seems like it'd be a good palette. The packaging is super cute. I wanted to point that out. And then they also have this, which we've seen before, but it looks like the store just got it. This is the Lux Lip Color Mini Duo from Bobbi Brown in Parisian Red and Hibiscus. This is for $14.99 for two mini. Here's another Cara Beauty Palette. This one actually looks really pretty. This is the Charmed Palette. And this is the Color Story. Of course, I can't tell if this is all mattes or what. I'll have to insert a photo for you guys. But this is for $5.99. So they have two different Cara palettes showing up here at the stores. And then I saw this too from Clarence. I don't see this brand too much, at least in makeup wise. This is the Blush Protégé Illuminating Cheek Color in Miami Pink. This is going for $9.99. I've actually never tried Clarins. I don't know, it's just never really interested me that much. Okay, at Marshalls, I had to show you guys, they had so many of these MAC lipsticks. I don't know why we're only seeing this shade though. This is in Mullet Over, and they seriously got all of them in that shade, which is disappointing. I would love if they had some more, but I do like this color. I actually bought it. It's a really pretty one. It's actually a lot darker than I thought, but I wanted to mention that it is here again at Marshall's for $7.99, which is a great deal. They have a bunch of the Becca lipsticks over here. I see they have this, which I don't think we've seen this here yet. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder in Soleil. I feel like this is the one that I have for $9.99. 
if it's what I'm thinking of, it's one of my favorites. I'll have to look it up. I looked it up and it is the one that I love. So if you guys see this, definitely pick it up. Um, it has the Laura Mercier writing, like her signature on it. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love this better than her other matte baked bronzers. So that's actually really exciting. We have not seen this yet. So finally Marshalls has a couple of new things. They also had this gigantic palette from Cargo. I don't know why it's in this crazy packaging, but look how big that is. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the Wanderlust eyeshadow palette. This one's a little bit messy. There's another one that looks good down there. This is what it looks like. It looks like mostly mattes, a couple shimmers. It says 12 shadows and you get a brush. This is for $4.99. And yeah, this thing is humongous. Usually their palettes just come in a little box. We do have two Kat Von D lipsticks here. We have the shades Prayer and also Lovecraft. I'm pretty sure we've seen Lovecraft here before, but these are so cheap here. They're only $2.99, which is crazy because these used to retail in like the $20 range. So I do have a couple of these. They do have a very matte formula, but they really aren't that bad. And then I found this again. This is from Laura Mercier. It's their Candle Glow Concealer and Highlighter, which I think we might have seen this before. I can't totally remember. It's in the shade at number one, going for $6.99. Looks like they also restocked this Sephora brush, and it seems maybe cheaper than it was last time I saw it here, but this is the Pro Stippling brush. It looks pretty good, and the price is only $4.99 on this one, which is amazing. And Sephora recently changed their brushes and got some new ones, new packaging, so we might be seeing more of these soon. It looks like they also brought in a ton from Laura Mercier, these matte eye colors. So far, I just see one shade. This one is in the shade Cashmere. It is going for $5.99, so just a single shadow from them. I spotted this also from Kevin Aquan. They are bringing this back, which is exciting because I found one last year just in one shade. This is the Etherealist Supernatural Concealer going for $7.99. And this one is in the shade Medium. I think this one might have been an online return though because I know that usually if it's from online, it has these stickers. So I was excited for a minute that maybe we would see more shades in these, but maybe not i'm hoping to get a lighter color but you never know speaking of kevin aquan i actually found this concealer too so they actually have a light shade i don't know what shade i would need i don't know if they make a fair one it seems like usually they would have like undertones too like fair neutral light warm light cool something like that but it just says light so i don't know what's up with that and then i saw that they had down here Oh, they, they must have just got like a bunch of online returns because this one has that too. This is from Sigma, the Precision Round Brush. This actually looks like it would be good for a concealer. Um, oh, there's another one up there I'll show you, but I absolutely love Sigma brushes. They've been my favorite since the beginning. I have some that have lasted me for more than five years. I highly recommend them. This one is $9.99. And they have this tapered kabuki one as well. This one would be good for baking powder underneath the eyes or the cheekbones. This is for $9.99 as well. And then someone returned, I think this. This is from Givenchy, the Tint Couture Long Wearing Compact. It says it's in Elegant Beige. I have no idea what this looks like, but I will insert a photo for you guys. This is going for $19.99. It says there's a highlighter in here. Maybe a foundation and a highlighter is what I'm guessing. I have no clue, but that's cool. I usually never see these high-end brands like this unless it's a return. I spotted this little Bliss set I wanted to share with you guys too in like the body section. This is Bliss Heal the World Spa Powered Heal Smoother System. So it comes with their Foot Patrol softening cream and then it looks like a little device. Let's see, this is $14.99, originally $29. So that device is like a heel smoother that uses as an exfoliating disc to remove callus dry and dead skin. So that's actually perfect for summertime right now when I'm wearing sandals, my feet get so bad. But I wanted to share that with you guys that they have this set here. And then I spotted this giant set from Dr. Jar. We see some other sets here and there. This is the Sarah Fantasy set. I don't know if this one even came to the States because it is in Korean, I believe. It comes with the Ceramide and Cream that looks like a full size. Their moisturizing toner, there's a body wash, a body lotion, and a serum that are minis, and then a full size face mask, which has four in there with the Ceramidin collection, which is supposed to be super moisturizing. I know ceramides are great for the skin, so this is everything in there. This is going for $39.99.
Okay guys, I'm really excited to see one of these Laura Mercier face illuminators here. These are gorgeous. I have a couple of myself and I have not seen them at my stores yet, so I'm very excited. This one's in the shade Inspiration. This is the one that kind of has the like wavy design on the inside and they're very pigmented highlighters. So this is only $12.99, definitely worth picking up. I just see one shade so far, but they might bring in a few more, I'm thinking. But yeah, I'm really excited that these are here. There's just so much good Laura Mercier stuff. I spotted this too. I think this is the new packaging in their lip liners. I think we've seen the old ones here before. This is their Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Naked for $5.99. I wanted to show you guys the highlighter on my phone. This one is Inspiration, so these are absolutely beautiful. This looks like one of the deeper tones. I have the two lighter ones, so we'll see if they bring in some more, but I'm excited we're finding that along with like the concealers. There's the eyeshadows, lots of good stuff. Here's also another lip pencil. This one's actually in the shade Rosewood, which is one of their best-selling nudes. And look what was hiding down below. I almost missed this. I've been on the hunt for these. They have these little MAC Mini Prep and Prime Fix Pluses. You guys know how I feel about Fix Plus in watermelon. I love the smell of banana, and I love the smell of watermelon, so I think this is going to go home with me. This is for $8.99. I'm really surprised my store has this because we never get MAC stuff in and I'm always like I love Mac still and I love to try all their things so hopefully we see more I know there's like a pineapple one popping up as well but yeah I'm really excited to find this I've been on the hunt these are $8.99 if I didn't mention it's a little bit pricey but I think this is maybe 40% off of the retail price so I'm still gonna get it another one of those matte eye colors I found it at another store this one's in the shade ginger over to a different store since someone um, on Instagram had said that they had a bunch of MAC lipsticks. Sadly, I just found one, but I am going to buy it, I think. This is in the shade Mocha, the satin lipstick. This is going for $7.99. It looks really pretty. I'm trying to find more because I would love to get more MAC lipsticks. I just love them. I did find this cute little pixie set as well, which I don't think I've seen this. It's the Fast Flash Facial. It comes with a mini peel and polish glow tonic and a rose flash balm which I love that this is going for $12.99 this store also had this cover effects foundation which I haven't seen at any of mine this is the natural finish foundation they just have the same shade here there's two of them it's in G60 and it is for $9.99 I think this is the one that Jaclyn Hill used to rave about all the time and I think I like bought it and it wasn't a favorite but I think I would try it again <laughs> if I ever did find my shade so maybe that'll be back but who knows. So I do have a little haul for you guys of what I picked up this week. First being the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I have been on the hunt for this in my shade and I cannot believe they had it there. So, so far I've only seen like the shade 5 and then a couple shades in one and now this one is 0.5 n so this was only $6.99 which is an amazing deal this definitely should work for me so I'm, I'm just really excited about this find we're finally seeing more shades hopefully we'll they'll bring in the whole range we actually found quite a bit of Laura Mercier stuff this week and then you guys know I picked up the little baby Mac fix plus the watermelon spray I was on the hunt for these I've only seen one single one so far but there is some different like smells I am probably only gonna pick up the watermelon that's the one I like plus this like just came out last year maybe last summer so it's really not that old and then I actually got more of these SC polishes I absolutely love these I tried out the one I have on my nails right now this one I got last week and it's the specific treat love and color line that I like because these actually dry crazy fast and they don't chip as bad my tips are chipping a bit but I had this on for like a week so that's really good for me I usually can't keep nail polish on to save my life and I didn't even use top coat so I definitely recommend these so I got some more pinks I just love pink <laughs> so I got the shade pink to perfection so you have to be on the look for, for these. They're a strengthener and a color, and they're only $3.99. And then I also got the Good Lighting shade, which is kind of a nude, nude taupe. It looks really pretty, but yeah, I've been loving those. And then the last purchase, which was kind of random for me, but I've always wanted one of these. So this is actually the box. I'll show you guys what it looks like, too, in my room. But this is from Impressions Vanity, which is like the signature 
brand that a lot of beauty gurus had in their rooms they usually have the big ones but they have this like hollywood xl makeup mirror so i bought this i do wish it was a tiny bit bigger but i think it does fit okay in my room but i've always wanted one of these with the little round lights on it so this is really cool they had a bunch of different sizes there not the giant desk ones but these are nice even to put on your desk i'll show you guys how mine looks but this was 44.99 for the xl so i did grab that because I've always wanted to try there so I'll show you guys what mine looks like so here's how mine looks I had to put it over here for now because I need to get an extension cord because it does need to plug in but it's really nice it's pretty decently sized and then this is how it works you could turn it off just by touching which is really cool and then it changes like the lighting too if you want more warm more dim cool bright all that stuff which is really nice I don't know what this does this one's not doing anything for me this like last button so I don't know about that but yeah I'm actually really happy with that so hopefully now I don't have to always use my handheld mirrors I could just mostly use this except for when I do eyeshadow because I like to be up close but I need to get an extension cord for that but I thought that was a pretty cool buy that is everything that I picked up at the stores this week and what I found We'll see what we find next week. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I know my last one didn't get as many views as some of my other ones. I know whenever I find Too Faced, I always get the most views on those things. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.